Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Deltarune. So we're just going to jump right back into it, because not going to lie, I'm a little worried about Lancer. I want to go check up on him, see what kind of shape he's in. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he'll bounce back. Whoa. Speaking of shapes, looks like a puzzle. Think uh, you can do it, Chris? Sure. Uh, just give me a minute. Calm your skinless, boneless thighs, everyone. I'll think of a solution. Chris. Just ignore him. I'll just be over here, where I can't hear you. And I'll be over here, away from your IQ debuffing aura. And I'll be here, stuck in the middle with both of you. <laughs> uh, clowns to the left of me and jokers to the right. And yet here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And uh, bing bang boom. I think that should be it. There we go. Yeah, we got it. What? Hey, wait a second. How'd you... How'd you solve it without me? <laughs> Chris figured it out before you. Jealous. Well, I... I knew the answer. I just wanted to see Chris try it first. It's called suspense, Susan. Dramatic. Suspense. Then you do the next one. Fine! Watch me. Also, my name's not Susan. Uh, I guess he did it for dramatic effect? Not the most sensible effect, but dramatic. Huh! <laughs> Child's play. Couldn't you have given me a harder one? For example, if anyone had a 4x4 puzzle cube. So like a simplified Rubik's cube? Just tell us the solution. Well, <laughs> you see, ah, uh, first you, you align the shadows with the lines on the floor. All right, uh, what do we move first? Uh, Chris, just do the puzzle. Uh, just give me a moment. It's not like Chris could even solve it anyways. Am I actually giving you a minute or do I need to figure it out? Chris, leave the controls alone. If you sweat on them, then it's gonna eat up my inputs. So just let me solve this. Okay, I'll leave you to solve it while I have a nice friendly conversation with Susie and Lancer. What a bird brain. Right, Lancer? <laughs> oh yeah, all of his body parts are bird ones. Lancer, tell Chris our sick scheme. So... When we make track jackets, I'm making his a different color. <laughs> Aw, Lancer, buddy. I'm worried about you. Okay, what's this say? This puzzle is for staff only. Guests, please head back to your rooms. <sighs> Tempting, but I think I'm just gonna try this out real quick. Okay. You had your chance, uh, Birdly, but now it's my turn. Uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. So let's do that. And then this one can go over here. Would that work? Hold on. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I don't think that would work. Is that going to work with the trapezoid? I don't think so. No, because it's always going to be facing the wrong direction. Uh, okay. So what if we... Can we do that? Yeah, we could do that. Oh, god dang it. Hold on. So that stays there. And then this goes down here. Yeah. And then this goes in the corner. Okay. That should do it. Ta-da! Whoops. Looks like Chris got it again. Huh? Wait. Wait just a second. You can't have. You just got lucky. It's just trial and error. The brute force method. Huh, a caveman could do it. Except caveman died out because they're stupid. I'm solving the next one, so just stay here until I'm done. Yeah, like we're gonna wait that long. Okay. Well, I mean, like, usually, yes, I will admit, I am not the sharpest tool in the shed, and a lot of times I use brute force <laughs> or trial and error to figure out a puzzle, but that was not the case for that one. 
What are you two doing here? This one's mine. It'll be over in a second, so why don't you just relax in your mind palace? Which probably doesn't even have anything in it. It's a mind palace. I just need to figure out why the shapes don't go together. I don't know. Oh, hey. You just gotta fill the whole square thing, right? What if he just piled them all in the corners? Like digging a really wide hole. What? Chris, wanna try? Am I allowed to try this one? Okay. I thought this was all birdly, but I guess it's all us. Yet again. Okay. So we'll do that. And then the house can go over here. It's like a, you know, regular puzzle. It's like a puzzle with like, you know, a bunch of pieces. You start off with the corners and then work your way in. Okay. There we go. And then I guess we just use this one to overlap. Yeah, there we go. What do you think of that, birdly? Uh, Su Susie's idea worked. There, There's no way. It's a computer bug. It's a glitch. You're cheating. J just like when you wave dash. Is that a reference? What is wave dashing? <laughs> How's it taste, idiot? Man, I'm gonna relish in this forever. All those times you acted so high and mighty. Well, guess what? You're not. Face it. You're just as big a dumbass as the rest of us. <laughs> no, he's still shocked, like, huh, maybe. <laughs> Poor Birdly. Oh, wait, are we having a serious moment? Oh, I didn't realize. Fine, I admit it. I'm not that smart. I never was. There, are you happy? I... I just... Oh, Birdly. I used to be a forgettable little bluebird. No one even remembered my name. Then one day came the spelling bee Noelle and I studied for. When it came down to the two of us, she got nervous and couldn't speak. Aww. She lost. And I won. That was when I tasted it. The praise. The glory. The superiority. The addictive power of being smart. Since then, year after year, I've been number one in the class. But it's only because Noelle helps me study. She's the real smart kid. But everyone's expectations for me are so high now. What am I going to do once I go somewhere without her? Oh, Birdly. Buddy. That's why I wanted to make a new world. For us. A world where we'll always be number one and number two. But I was so wrapped up in that, I got tricked by the queen. And now, Noelle is going to suffer because of it. Maybe I did just like being superior. Maybe I am just an idiot. Don't cry, Chicken Nugget Man! <laughs> Good job. Good pep talk, Lancer. That's the kind of energy we're looking for right now. All of us are idiots, too. Uh, huh? I mean, like, I don't know about everyone else, but... Whether you're the smart kid or not, we couldn't care less. Screw up as much as you want, honestly. It's not like our opinion of you can get- Susie! Susie. You- you'd accept me? Even if I'm dumb? Uh, y yeah. It's like when your sister gets cursed in Dragon Blazers too. Even if her stats suck, she's still your party member. Does Susie have a sister? S susie A real Dragon Blazers 2 reference? Susie. You're not only kind, but a true gamer as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Perhaps I underestimated you. Don't say that now. Please don't ever make that face again. <laughs> Something about that face. Ugh. But worry not, I have decided. I will turn over a new leaf from now on. 
and fight for the side of ignorance. We're not telling you to be stupid. Just sometimes it's okay to make mistakes. Haha, <laughs> and make mistakes I will. Onward! Ugh, why couldn't Rousey be here to teach the moral lesson? Because, you know, it shows character development on your end, <laughs> you know? I would have never pegged Susie as the one to, you know, be the one to help someone figure stuff out like that, but uh, I'm proud of her for doing it. Staff, if you're stuck, please don't call for help. No one can hear you. Not in this beloved death trap of a mansion. Uh, yeah. Sounds about right. Feels like a death trap so far. Okay. What's all this, then? What's up, bird buddy? This downstairs table will be for our special guests. There's a dinner party on the second floor for everyone else. Okay. Are we everyone else, or are we special guests? Everything here is tailored for you, right? Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if I'm special guest or just guest. Th that screaming. Rousey? Uh, you don't have to scream. Just because you like my outfit. Aww, there's actually a sweet wholesome moment that was happening, not a terrifying scary one. Oh, Chris, Susie. Uh, how may I serve you? The hell are you doing? Uh, the queen didn't have any room for me, so, uh... She made me into one of her butlers instead. Whatever. Rousey, can you heal answer? Uh, oh. <laughs> it's, uh, cold. <gasps> I don't like that face. Oh, no. Why do you look so serious? Susie. Is it serious? I'm afraid this isn't something I can heal. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Lancer is... Did he just turn into stone? Lancer! Hey! You see, each dark fountain creates a different world. A world whose darkness reflect the will of its fountain. But, though those darkners can exist in their own worlds, they might not belong if they go to another one. So how- okay. So how can we help him? There is a way. Castle Town's Grand Fountain is made of pure darkness. As long as it stays flowing, any darkner can live there. So if we bring Lancer back to the school, he'll be okay again. So we just need to get him out of here, huh? Right. Alright. Lancer, we'll be back for you, buddy. Aw, poor Lancer. Your friend. If we defeat the queen, we can save him? Uh, yeah. With me out of the way, the queen is going to force Noelle to do her bidding. And if Noelle doesn't want to, she might make her face into a robot one. Susie, could you assist me in saving Noelle? Uh huh? Me? I just can't stand to do it by myself. But if you can help me, I have a plan. A uh, plan. I remember from the Queen's tour of this place. There's a secret shortcut on the third floor. While Chris is distracting the Queen, Susie will take the shortcut to reach Noelle and transfer her onto the roof. From there, I'll bring her to a safe hiding spot. And together, we can all defeat the Queen. Alright, sure. I'll give it a shot. Haha, most excellent. Then. See you on the roof, fellow agents. Alright, let's go. Okay, let's do it to it. Ow. <laughs> Would you take that off already? Oh, uh, s sorry. Ah, there we go. Back to normal. Okay. We'll be back, Lancer. I promise. Smooches. Mwah. You know, <laughs> take care. Okay.
I do feel bad that we're just abandoning him. Will it say anything? Oh, I was like, is there any dialogue options to like talk to him? Or see how he's doing? Poor buddy. Whoa. Them legs though. <laughs> okay. Looking at these legs fills you with a certain power. You ain't kidding. What's going on in the cafe? Can we take a quick peek in here? Welcome to Color Cafe. Let us warm your day. Okay, butt juice. Short for butler juice, of course, of course. Our menu is specially prepared. Okay, spaghetti woven by master coders. Oh, that does uh, party healing? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, B-shot bow tie? A handsome bow tie. And a luxurious brooch. Oh, that's the brooch that, uh... Uh, I'm trying to think. Noelle has. Uh, yeah. A thousand dollars? I mean, I do have enough for two. I kind of want to do that, because it looks like it's some pretty decent defense. So I'll go ahead and get those. And I'll get some spaghetti code. And I have just enough left over for some butt juice. Ah. That'll hit the spot. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have anything I want to sell. Can we talk to you? Tell me about yourself. Ah, forgive me for not introducing myself sooner, young masters. I am Swatch, Our Lady Grace's head butler. When we are not attending to her needs, I and the Queen's other staff use this room as our humble yet colorful gift shop slash cafe. Please, shop to your heart's content. We are eager to serve your any wish. I just realized all the buff birds in the background, uh, which kind of like changes the atmosphere a little bit. Mission statement? Does a woman of Our Lady Grace's caliber not deserve a coven of powerful men and women to dote upon her every movement? To have rap anthems written to her kindness, which are then bit crushed beyond recognition to make them more computer? To have Melon smashed with karate chops, repeatedly, for no apparent reason. To have barrels thrown from the rafters. And make us smash them all with karate chops before the timer runs out. But the barrels are full of melons, and we have to smash those too? Yes. The answer is... Yes. So she's a fan of, uh, Fruit Ninja. <laughs> okay. Was Rules card here? Do you know Rules? Rules? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with a guest of that moniker. Oh, wait, are you perchance referring to the unbearable, uh, unique man who barged in here and demanded to be made Butler Supremeth? I am afraid that person is now banned from this establishment. I'm not surprised. <laughs> and he may have suffered injuries as a result of his uh, rather swift ejection. Please do not mention him again. We are still cleaning up the worms he left on the floor. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up a sore subject. Sounds like he left quite the mess behind him. Oh, my outfit, yes. The monochrome look is quite suitable, isn't it? Black suit, colored glasses. Many people have failed to imitate this look. Some even going as far as to attempt to impersonate me. In order to get the... Ah, oh, never mind. Macaron? I'm um, good, thanks. In order to get the what? Will you tell me if I ask again? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I mean, it is a snazzy outfit. You're literally sparkling. Uh, but why would someone want to impersonate you? I don't know. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that's that. I'll come back later and sell some stuff. Please, come again. We'll be waiting for you with rose-tinted glasses. Sounds good. Okay. Is there anything else I should investigate before we head out? I do want to, uh, uh, see where the door leads. Like, I think it's one of the shortcut doors that leads back to previous places. But I want to see what's available. It's a cybernetic bookshelf. There's a book here about shortcuts that open up later. Shortcuts that open up later? Like, if you play through the chapter again? Or, like, this kind of shortcut with the door? Where will you go? Cyberfield Mansion Trash Zone? Where was the DJ group again? Where was KK and Cap and, uh... Uh... <laughs> why am I forgetting his name? Sweet. I can't remember. 
I do remember, though. Oh, I remember something else. <laughs> I remember there's, like, a door over here I wanted to investigate. I need a key for it, though, right? Did I need a key for it? The door is unlocked! Yeah, go inside! Heck yeah! <laughs> what, you want to go in by yourself? Whatever. Do what you want. Okay. Ah, I had a feeling it was gonna be you. Okay. Hey, Every. It's me. Spamton G. Spamton. Okay. Uh, bye? Okay. Oh, I see. So my money gets converted into Chromer in here. What is key gen? 100% certified wares. That's what it is. Item affects HP a lot. Okay. Oh, the big one. It's a big weapon. Whoa, the B shot bow tie. That's. Uh, that's something. I might try to get that. Because the price is always changing. I don't think it ever dips below 36, though, does it? It doesn't look like it. Buy more? Aren't these the same items? Are the prices lower or something? Maybe. I don't know. The key gen is worth a lot. Okay. Let's do some talking. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna be able to do his voice the entire time because it'll take forever to get through the dialogue, but also my throat's kind of thrash, so... It's just gonna be regular old talking. Let's talk about our deal. Chris, you little sponge. I knew you'd come here on a Saturday night. After all, you want to be a big shot. Ah ha 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 ha. But how? How can you be? Listen, in the deep abyss of the Queen's Mansion, a great deal is waiting for a limited time only. A heaven-piercing, workout-ready body. Designed by the classics you've come to expect. 1997. Chris, that little nipper is our one-way ticket to make you big. Make me big. Before you know it, we will be taking a ride around town on our special Kungadero. What the heck is a Kungadero? <laughs> Vacationing in burning acid while you soak in the hyperlink blocked. But Chris, don't breathe yet. The way is locked by high quality encryption. You will never get inside. Wait, Chris, look, hear those balloons? You are one thousandth customer. As a commemorative ring, I will let you buy key gen from me at the low, low price of. What do you think? It's such a steal. I'm ing myself. Take this deal and you will die. It's that good. Buy the key gen from me. Unlock the basement and get that empty disc. Okay, so if I buy the key gen, I can unlock something in the basement of the mansion? Got it. I mean, I don't think I have enough money, but I could sell some stuff. And then maybe... Uh, hold on, let me see. Oh! It dips below. It dips below 36. It was just at 29. I just gotta time it right. And be patient. Come on. Oh, I can get it at 30. Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Delicious Cromer. Okay. I might still go back and sell some stuff unless it's gonna dip below six. I highly doubt it. It's like stocks. You just gotta keep an eye on it and be like, eventually. Eventually I'm gonna wanna buy, buy, buy. Okay. But I can't sell here. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna go below uh, six Cromer. Okay, I might go sell some stuff if I have anything to sell. But we got the important thing, which is the the key gen. Okay. Uh, what did we talk about? We talked about our deal. Tell me more about you. I used to be nothing but the email guy. Now I'm the it burns. Ow, stop. Help me. It burns guy. <laughs> Amazed at this amazing transformation? You too can have a communion with unintelligible laughter. Soon I'll even surpass that damned clown around town. Oh, do you mean Jevil? But unlike him, I'm gonna shoot for the sky and get on the path to the big one. I'll get so, I'll get so, I'll get so, I'll get so, hyperlink blocked. Okay, so are you like this world's Jevil? <laughs> I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna do your fight. Maybe, you know, like I might play through the game and get through the story first and then come back and try the fight. Uh, but I remember Jevil like nearly drove me insane, so I don't know if I want to do that again. 
Who's the knight? Speaking of communion. Chris, did you know that the knight? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Too many excess vacation days? Take a goddamn vacation straight to hell. Okay, I take it you don't like the knight too much, whoever that is? Me? Friends. Ah ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Chris, you and me are already friend request accepted. We don't need anyone else. We don't need easels or CRTs. We don't need any man, woman, or child at half price. We don't need Mike. Oh, is Mike a sore subject? It seems like it. Chris, you won't believe anything you see on TV. The man's a criminal, I tell you, a criminal. Who is Mike? Well, now you've piqued my interest. Tell me more about this criminal. <laughs> okay, oh, it just loops. I thought it was yellow because, like, maybe it said something different if you interacted with it more than once. Okay. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, we don't need Mike. Totally. Just you and me. Uh, fear? What are you afraid of? According to Encyclopedia of Being Afraid, there's nothing to fear except... Can anyone hear me? Help. What? Yeah, what? Huh? What? No. I didn't hear anything just now. But it sounded like they were talking to you. Do we need a f- Are- mm. <laughs> I get the feeling you're like, like I said, I feel like you're this world's jevil. So if we fight you, are we going to release someone or something? Is someone like trapped inside of you? You're super freaky, man. Like, not going to lie. At, at first, I thought maybe it was just a me thing. But it, uh, <laughs> something about you gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. I guess that's all we can talk about. So let's exit. Okay. I would buy more, but uh, I don't have enough money. So I'm just going to escape, I guess. Mansion. Basement. Find it. Okie dokie. Yeah, it is very creepy in there, huh? What kind of creepy stuff are you buying in there anyway? Nah. Like I even want to know. Yikes. She said she hoped it was candy, and you would share it with her. Shut up. Hey, Chris. <laughs> okay, no candy. Not this time. Uh, but I did find some secrets and some sacrets, so that made it pretty worthwhile. Okay. I'm trying to think where the DJ dudes might be. Because I kind of want to go sell some stuff to them and uh, get some CD bagels because I can get those for pretty cheap. Would it be Cyberfield? Because we can't go back to the mansion. They used to be right here. Oh wait, their store is up here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> See ya, smell ya, hear ya. Okay. Uh, in that case, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to leave this episode here. And uh, in the next episode, we'll pick back up at the mansion. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do some selling in between episodes. See if maybe I can buy some stuff from uh, Spamton. Because if the money dips low enough, I feel like it'd probably be a better deal. And I think, yeah, he had like a defense item I wanted to get. So I'm going to fool around in between episodes and I'll let you all know what I did, you know, in the next episode. But that is going to be it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.